Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So, before I uh, start sealing all these uh, and putting them away, I thought you might like to see um, what I did get completed during December uh, for my Christmas ornaments, my Christmas decorations. Uh, some of the things that I made have actually been given away as Christmas presents, but I'll show you what I've still got and what I've got left. Um, and yeah, I thought you might like to see them. Uh, I think I've already shown you some of them, so I think I'd showed you the uh, two sets of Merry Christmas sun and sunglasses, <laughs> snow glasses, Christmas glasses, which uh, I did uh, eventually get a photograph of myself and hubby wearing them. I think that was on Christmas Day when I managed to break him out of hospital for the day. So that was those. Um, my gnome that I did for November is actually, he's got a Christmas tree, so he stayed up for Christmas and it definitely needs sealing that one. Okay, and then our little Christmas hats, we did wear those as well. They got finished. I think I showed you those. So I did show some of them uh, during my opening of my advent box. Um, it, well, I did start off each day and I did aim um, to show you a project each day, but life happened. So that was those. Again, they all really do need sealing because they're that little bit sticky. And it's going to take me a long time to get all this sealed. Okay, I definitely showed you my Christmas stocking when I did my wrap up of my advent calendar. So that was that one. And I do think I showed you my little uh, picture as well, which has the light on it there. Okay, and like going off. So yeah, love that. Love the snowflakes on it. Brilliant. But again, it is starting to move a little bit. So I do want to seal that. And it has got, I think, more with special drill projects. You find that as they put the glue on, depending on how carefully they've done it, you do get little sort of edges that are sticky and you can get fluff and dog hair and all horrible things like that stuck to it. So, yeah, I do like to seal them just to stop the uh, stickiness on the edges as much as keeping the drills in the right place. Okay, I'll show you this one last. Right, so these, oh my goodness me, did I do a lot. These are my bottle bags. So that's one Rudolph, one snowman, and another Rudolph. Okay, uh, again, these were supposed to go around bottles as Christmas presents, but oh dear, I forgot. <laughs> and they just so, uh, seal up. But I mean, you could put anything in them. You could even put like a juice bottle or something in them. Um, very nice on Christmas tables, but again, still quite sticky. Uh, so they do need sealing before they're put away. So that's those. I love the Christmas projects and there just seems to be lots of uh, Valentine's and Easter and all sorts coming out at the moment. Um, I did my three little stockings, which I love, and I did have these hung up as well on uh, my mantelpiece. So, yeah, a little teeny tiny stockings, but very sparkly. And I've got, well, it took me a day to sort out all the uh, drills that I had left over from all these and try and organise them a little bit. So that's my little stockings there. I don't think I showed you Santa. Uh, I'm just going to switch him on. Okay, and he lit up. And again, he was on my mantelpiece. Lovely to do. This one, I'll switch it off again, actually came already assembled. I know some people got ones where you had to screw them together um, and assemble them, but this one actually came with the lights already in like a skeleton on the inside. And uh, yeah, I must remember to take all the batteries out of these as well before I put them away because I don't want any leaking batteries. Okay, so that's Santa. And then this was the little Santa on his swing. Oops, he's got stuck look on his little chain swing. Again, I love this one. I love the face on the Santa. Let me show you. And he was stood well, I had him in a few different places, to be fair. Um, but, uh, yeah. And I did find that um, using both of the bases on this one, I was unsure as to why we'd got two. But I did find, because you had the two bases, putting them together and putting them on the bottom 
of your project on the bottom of the tree just gave it that extra stability that extra weight because you've got some a moving part on it you've got this moving and just using the one just made it a little bit unstable and again that needs sealing i think i'm going to need about two gallons of sealer by the time i've finished and um, that was my little i think i showed you that one that was my little um snow family there very pretty i thought i'd miss some drills there no it's just the pattern on the in between <laughs> oh no i've missed drills but no so that's my little snow family and then i also got my little robin family done which they're a bit strange because they've got pink breasts instead of red but i suppose it's because the red's on the hat i may change those i'm not sure I love the holly leaves with the berries I love that they've just outlined the holly leaves with the berries they look really really good and these like big bull's eyes like half marbles um, on the hats just really make that pop so yeah quite a few people remarked on that one I like that one sorry about the glare it's very dark here today and then this one was the floor leather sign um, oh I've put uh, an extra knot in there because I didn't want it quite as long but I wasn't keen on the Santa's face on this one, but I think it's quite a nice Merry Christmas with the A in Mass being a Christmas tree, which was quite nice. And Merry's on like a Christmas sign, with a little chimney there. So we've got a house and a sign and a tree outside. That came out really well. I wasn't keen on the colours actually until I did it. And then once I'd got all the um, gems put on, I thought, yeah, I like that. That's come out really well. Now then these... I've done a bit of a silly thing really um oops is that part of oh no that's a all right these are the light up wreaths okay and watch i'm just going to turn this one on okay so what you do is actually put the light through the wire for the light actually holds the center in place and then you whap whap <laughs> wrap the wires oh dear around the uh, wreath but i should have sealed it first because now i'm going to have to take the wires that i've wrapped around the edges off to seal it so silly me silly thing to do um i'll probably still leave the santa in the middle there and just seal him it is quite a good quality one this one though um because there's no sticky on the face it is just where the drills were but you can feel some of the stickiness um it's not too bad this one i'm sort of half and half as to whether to seal it or not uh, that rattling you can hear is just the chain uh, and again i did have these hung up for christmas and all lit up it looked lovely when i had all my lighted ones um, hung up all the way around and stood up on places it looked really good very very Christmassy people were quite shocked at how many decorations I had up I was quite shocked at how many decorations I had up this is the other one this is the another light up one with the Santa in the middle but this is a whole Santa um, with his little Christmas tree and his present I'm just going to turn the lights on on that one so yeah just wrapped around the edges and again i should really have sealed this i think it's just time constraints and you learn from your mistakes so i would recommend if you get any of these light up ones in future if you do want to seal it seal it before you put your lights on don't do what i did <laughs> okay but yeah really nice projects to do as i say the uh, wire just goes through this light just goes through the back of uh, your little santa there and then they came with key rings as well which i believe that was one of the key rings that's the little christmas tree key ring and then the other one came it's a bit bizarre really i'm not quite sure why you would get a key ring with a wreath um but yeah it was a nice little extra i just made those and i actually just put these out as decorations uh, you could put them on your tree i only really have glass toys on my christmas tree um, but I did have my Scotty tree this year, so I suppose I could have put them on there, but they just ended up hung. Uh, where did I put them? I think I hung them on the TV stand or somewhere like that. <laughs> so that was the two little key rings. These are all my little gnome ones that I'd already done. 
um, and I'd have to get them sealed. These were done for November, but because the Christmas, double-sided ones, I did have all those gnomes out as well. I say they've already been sealed. And then another wreath I did is this one. This is my faux leather Rudolph one. And I must admit, I've enjoyed doing these more than I've enjoyed doing the acrylic ones. I found that the beads seem to stick better to them. Um, and I wasn't frightened of dropping them or anything. But I love him. I think his expression is wonderful. Um, again, I had him, I think, on the fireplace. And just all the different colours of the gems, the crystals. He was really, really sparkly. And um, Yeah, I enjoyed doing that one. Really nice. And again, this one. This is uh, my Merry Christmas Santa. Again, really, really happy, really jolly. Enjoyed doing that one. And he stood on my top of my clock, actually, on my mantelpiece. So, but very bright. I love the colours, the gold and the blue. I think the blue just mixed in. Just a couple of letters of the blue just really makes that stand out and makes it really smiley and happy and yeah i just you know all the dots around as well all the different colors enjoyed doing that one and that one was one of the faux leather ones the eba material as they call it and then my next wreath see i did a lot of wreaths is my merry christmas snowman and with the sparkly star there i was a little bit worried about that because it's it's sort of bent in a little bit um, but yeah, I'll get that sealed and then get that put away. Again, they tended to be stood up places. I didn't get them hung up this year, but I had them stood all over the house. <laughs> I think these were on um, like our sideboard dining. Um, like I think you call them hutches in the uh, US. Um, so yeah, China hutch is it? China cabinet? So yeah, so that's that one. And then I got my Santa done. A Merry Christmas Santa. Uh, it looks better on cramp camera than it does in real life. It's got some very, very dark grey edging. I think I would have preferred sort of a, a darker white or a paler grey maybe. I don't know. I wasn't quite in these bits here under his eyes. I wasn't quite as enamoured with the drills on that one and I wasn't as keen on the oranges mixed in with the purples and the blues on this one it looks really good on camera though isn't it strange but the lettering really stands out and these little blue special uh, drill flowers all made from teardrops stand out so yeah nice jolly santa but he went up as well and then i think that one i showed you um yeah i'd, I'd showed you that one before i got that one there uh, that was my first Christmas Eve project I got done this year. So I'll just pop, this is an old scrapbooking, um, this is an old scrapbooking box that I've got, which has still got glitter and all sorts in the bottom of it. But I just thought it's 12 by 12, or it holds 12 by 12 papers. So it's just sort of the right size for all these Christmas projects to go in. <laughs> okay, just pop these back in. my little snow scene done as well this is from new craft day this was gifted to me in a pr package that i got uh oh my little deer has disappeared off the front i will find that and get it put on but yeah absolutely loved this it's a little house but the ab crystals i think you can see i know i've got the but the ab crystals on the roof and on santa and then everything else was like ab coated as well it just really made it pop and I did just put a little tea light at the back, at uh, just the back there. Uh, just a battery operated one. I wouldn't recommend putting a naked flame near any of these because it is Plaspex, Plaspex? Perspex and plastic. <laughs> Making up my own words now. Uh, yeah, it, it's uh, liable to melt. But yeah, we've got Santa in the background there and the little stars and everything on the tree just really popped really looked gorgeous uh, as a christmas decoration and again quite a few people commented on this one so that will be sealed and put back in its box and i have got quite a few of the drills left over as well Oops. i've got a few of the lovely spark look at those look at those look at 
sparkle on those AB coated silver. Just absolutely love those. And then there's quite a few gems left over, some stars and things. And the gold, which is that slightly different, more of a sort of a dullish gold, just that made everything else pop that little bit more. So that was those. And then finally, my favourite thing that I've done this year for Christmas, and I did get it finished, um, albeit it was just at Christmas, <clears throat> is my Christmas tree skirt. And I don't think I'm going to be able to get it all on here. Let me just move that slightly out of the way. And oh, it just about fits. So we've got the Christmas tree here. The drills went down on this like a dream. It really was like, as you were putting them down, they just settled and they just seemed to go in the right place. And then Santa and his little tree in there. Uh, I've got a little bit grubby on the edge here because, again, I put it down without sealing it and hubby did go over it on his wheelchair, unfortunately. But that will clean off and I will get it sealed. But there's a dog hair there as well. <laughs> Millie's been getting in on the act. But yeah, we've got the little reindeer with the penguin there. And then the little elf with the polar bear and the two snowmen at the back, all in the train. And again, quite a few people. Um, a bit more muck there. And it has moved slightly just on these strings. But yeah, this is one of my favourite items that I've done this Christmas. And it will definitely be coming out every year. Uh, it looked great around the Christmas tree. We do have an artificial Christmas tree now. But it just sort of went over the legs of the tree and just right round the back with the Merry Christmas on the back there. It's a sparkly canvas. I don't think you can quite see it in the camera. But all of this canvas is really, really sparkly as it's got all glitter inside it. And it's just wonderful. I just absolutely love it. But yeah, it definitely needs sealing. And I will just get a little damp cloth and just get some of the dirt around from the edges because you know it does stick out that little bit as people are going past uh but yeah that was definitely worth the money um <clears throat> i say i did pay about 28 pound for this and i have seen them i think gbfke have got them at the moment at around about the 14 15 pound mark so if you are wanting one there's several different ones there isn't just the train there is a, diff a couple of different ones as well it might be worth just checking out their website um, and possibly getting one and doing it for next year okay well i think that's all of my christmas items shown to you i hope you've enjoyed seeing these Um, i have got quite a few that i didn't do i think i said i had about 30 projects to do was it about 32 projects uh, i didn't get the decorations done unfortunately but i've got next year so what i'm going to do um is go back to when I used to belong a group on Facebook uh, and we used to make a Christmas card every week so that by Christmas you ended up with 52 Christmas cards. I don't necessarily need 52 Christmas cards <laughs> but I thought if I make a card or a Christmas card at least once a week then that's a little mini project that I can just take time out and do and they take anywhere from like 20 minutes to 40 minutes depending on the size and what they are and then I'll have my Christmas cards done um, and I will have some birthday cards and special occasion cards done as well so that's my one of my little plans for this year maybe I'll use my planner for that I'm not quite sure okay well that's me uh, showing you everything if you've enjoyed seeing these if you can give me a thumbs up if you've got any comments or questions pop them in the comments section down below but uh, thanks ever so much for stopping by and i hope to see you all again soon bye for now